Hello everybody and welcome to this week's video. I want to show you guys how to add this really cool sun flare effect in On1 software. The really cool thing about this effect is it really helps you add glow and dimension to your scene. It's really easy to use so you don't have to worry about dodging and burning and painting yourself. Um, and it's also going to work with any photo editing software that you're using. So you do have to have the On1 software, but if you're editing in Photoshop or Lightroom or whatever program you're using, uh, it will still work because you can open up your photo into on one, apply this effect, and then jump back into whatever software you're working in. So I don't want to spend too much time talking here at the start. I just want to jump right in to show you guys this really, really cool effect that I'm loving. Um, I am going to leave a link in the bio to pick up this on one software. If you still don't own it, uh, you guys really got to get this software. If you want to wait till it's on sale, wait till it's on sale, but definitely pick it up. Uh, I highly, highly recommend. So let's jump right in. I'm going to show you guys this really awesome effect. So I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to add a similar type of sun flare as you see here. When I toggle this, you can see uh, what it does to the image. Now it's added quite a bit of depth to my scene. It's given it a spot where it's kind of realistic that you'd think the light is coming through. So I'm going to show you guys how to add that. Um, so the first thing that you want to do when you're thinking about adding a sun flare like this is to think about where the light's coming from. Now it wouldn't really make sense for me to put the sun flare radiating from somewhere down here because it's quite clear that the light is coming from the top, which would make sense to put it at the top of the frame. You can see how the back sides of these hills are dark, uh, whereas the top of the hill and the front sides are light. So it makes sense that the light's coming from the top. Um, rather than the left, the right, or the bottom. So always think about where the light's coming from because that is going to give you a more realistic look and feel. Now, if I took this photo at 12 noon and the whole scene was sunny, it wouldn't make sense to add this sun flare. But because I've taken this photo right at sunset where the light was just gracing the little hills here, it makes sense for this to work. So I'm going to go to on one and I'm going to go to add filter and I'm going to add a sun flare. You can also see that I've fully edited this photo. Um, I put on a bunch of other adjustment layers. Um, I've done some stuff in the develop tab and everything. So this is a fully edited photo. I'm just going to show you how to throw on this cool little sun flare effect that I really like. So I'm going to open up the sun flare tab here and I am going to select which sun flare I want. Now they give you the options for sun flare, sun star, or bokeh. Uh, I want sun flare and we are going to choose which sun flare we want. I think for the purpose of this, I'll probably do sun flare one, um, but there is always options. Other ones that I really like to use are this six is can be pretty nice, um, as well as um, five I do occasionally like as well. Um, but for the purpose of this, we are gonna go with sun flare one. So you can see that the sun flare doesn't look very good right now. I wanna increase the size a little bit uh, as well as move it over. So I think the first thing that I wanna do is increase the scale down here, which is just gonna increase how big the sun flare is. I'm gonna bring that up to somewhere around 60 area. About right there looks good. Now, depending on your photo, this is gonna look good larger or smaller. Uh, so it's totally up to you. For this photo, I feel like 60 is good for me. Um, I'm going to click this box, which is going to allow me to move the sun flare here. Click the box next to transform. And I'm just going to bring this over. And I'm going to bring it down here. So you can see that the middle of the sun flare is right there. I want to keep that in the center of the frame. So I'm just going to bring this up a little bit here. And I will probably leave it right there. Now, you've got some options here. Um, there's a few different things you can do. You can adjust the sunshine amount down here, which I usually do last, and you can also adjust the tone and color. So I may adjust the brightness here and make it a little bit brighter. And then I may put on a layer mask. So one thing that you will notice about these sun flares is they're actually taken from uh, real images of sun flares. So they do have little... Um, I guess, imperfections like this one here. Uh, I don't really like that in my photo and I don't really want all this glow down here anyways. I just want the glow around the top part. So I'm going to click to create a layer mask here. And this layer mask is gonna work just like it would in any other program. It's just a very simple layer mask. So I just wanna build a nice little circle uh, gradient around here. To do that, I'm going to go to the gradient tool right here. And then I'm just going to change the shape to edges if it's not already on edges. And I'm just gonna click on the photo. Now that gives us this nice circular mask here. So I wanna kinda of drag this up to where that little circle of light originates from, which is up here. 
And I'm going to increase the size just a little bit there. And then lastly, what's really gonna sell this effect is by really feathering this out, which I can do by dragging this bottom bar here. And that's looking pretty good to me. And let's toggle that. Perfect, and you can see we've added quite a strong glowing effect here. I could always tone down the opacity, um, which I will probably end up doing. It's also worth trying some different blend modes. So sometimes I will do this with a blend mode. Uh, you click this little uh, gear here, and then you can change the blend mode. So you may want to try things such as lighten. Um, you could try things like screen, um, but these are gonna add a little bit of contrast. On this photo, I don't think we are necessarily going to find an effect that we like in here, but it is worth mentioning that this is something that you can use. So I'm going to go back to normal here and we are going to toggle this. Again, it's looking pretty good. It is a little strong though. So let's go ahead and go back down here. Maybe we will reduce the brightness a touch. And maybe let's try increasing the fade. Okay, I'm not really liking what the fade is doing. So I'm always just trying all the different effects and it's definitely worth trying each effect even if you don't think it's gonna be very good. Um, I definitely recommend just giving it a try and kind of seeing what you think. So that's looking pretty good now. Just gonna reduce the amount just a little bit here. I'm actually going to do a little hue shift. I wanna make this a bit more warm. Maybe just minus one. So it's really cool because you can match the tones in your photo, um, which is a feature that I really, really like here. Um, and then lastly, I think I would probably just reduce the opacity here. So I can reduce the opacity. Uh, the other thing that you could do if there was a certain spot on your photo that you didn't like, you could just paint with the brush on this layer mask here. Um, I could click on the brush here, do paint out, and then just paint wherever I didn't like the effect. Um, but this is uh, this sun flare filter is one that I really like for adding some glow to my scene. You can see just how much dimension it adds to my photo. Um, one thing that is really nice about this is that you can use it with Photoshop, you can use it with whatever photo editing software you're using, Lightroom, whatever. You can open this in on one, apply this effect, and then jump right back into the other software that you're using. So you don't have to worry if you're not a full-time on one user. Um, as usual, whenever I post an on one video, I'm going to post a link down below with a discount code you guys can use to pick up the on one software if you guys want. Um, I seriously really like this effect. It isn't something that I'm using on every photo um, or even most of my photos, but every once in a while, I just find this effect to be so great, love what it does. And so I highly recommend giving this a go, seeing what you guys think, um, and of course, letting me know if you guys like it or not. So that wraps up exactly how I put on this sun flare effect onto this photo. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Another day, another dollar. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this effect is awesome. I love it so much. I'm sure you guys can see why. Just really helps me add another level of dimension to a photo with otherwise boring light to begin with. Um, now, I haven't played with this on a ton of my photos. I really just used it on a few, but it's something that I'm going to use moving forwards. Um, I found this effect recently, and it's just something that I've absolutely loved. So give it a go. Get the software. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys do use this on one of your photos, post in the comments. I'd love to check it out, give you guys some feedback on what I think, um, and we will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.